Ave YouTube, this is Shylock once again, and this is part 5 of my let's play for Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. We'll start off right with some action here. Uh, I am attacking an army that I would say is superior than my own, and uh, from from this point onwards, my campaign will more, more or less reflect this trend, at least in the battles. Um, my armies are uh, usually smaller in the local regions where they are, compared to the enemy armies I will be facing. Or inferior, so uh, it's, it's more about uh, crushing stronger units with your weaker units, more or less. Uh, there won't be a lot of huge battles, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think these are just uh, still kind of exciting, nonetheless. So here, I need to uh, exploit my advantages to the utmost. The uh, computer has only cavalry, but the computer is takes the role of defense very, very seriously. So uh, they will not come out and attack me unless I am very, very close to them. Um, what that means is I will uh, empty all, my, all of my archer's arrows and uh, hopefully empty, empty as many pila as I can possibly manage. So um, I'm trying to shoot them from the sides. And uh, from here, I, I think those uh, forces have shields, so shooting them from the left is not very effective. I will be moving my archers to the right later on, to uh, just to basically inflict max casualties as possible. Uh, when I'm going to engage in the melee, I will move up, move up my peasants first, so that the uh, the horse's charge bonus will be wasted on the peasants, whilst my uh, limit and I can uh, maybe can get off a couple of volleys of pila here and there. So here I am moving my archers over to the other other side, where uh, their missiles will have more. Uh, more impact and damage. Be uh, basically, uh, yeah, basically the AI sh shouldn't take the role defense this seriously because if they just straight up, straight up charge my units, they would probably win. They have three units of very good cavalry and two units of generals. Uh, even if they use the cavalry as more or less infantry, I, I still do not have an answer to that. So right here, it's just my archers going at it. Kind of interesting, I suppose. <laughs> uh, they don't they don't inflict a lot of casualties. Um, it's kind of shameful, really, because you're shooting cavalry, and cavalry are more or less supposed to be the most vulnerable units in, to missiles. Uh, I guess that's fine, though, because uh, I'm gonna win this battle nonetheless. So my archers are more or less out, and the uh, melee fight will commence shortly I will move them uh, those peasants are gonna be the uh, heroes of this battle sacrificing themselves to allow the Roman victory to come forth uh, the AI won't res respond to your shoot m movements very well especially when on defense so uh, I'm basically they're just gonna sit there and let me attack them I'm fine with that so uh, here you can see that my pilas are within my uh, the mint and I are within Pila range, and I will let them unleash all their fury. And uh, the enemy horses are dying precipitously now. Pila are a lot more dangerous than arrows. <laughs> oh wow, the AI has a lot of discipline, really. T takes a very strong man to stand there while being attacked by uh, javelins. Okay. So I'm gonna just do, let my infantry do their thing and fast forward here. It, like this kind, of, this thing will kind of things will ne almost never happen in multiplayer. But uh, this is the AI, of course. The AI uh, will not do things that humans would do, and uh, I I believe the uh, AIs in the later games will not act like this either. So this this is only exploitable for now. Okay, so like I said earlier, I will use my peasants to absorb the charges of the cavalry, and uh, oh, and more or less bog them down in place. And I'll have my limit and I come up and uh, grind them down. So I have my uh, my own cavalry prepared for flanking attacks, should the AI move the rest of this uh, cavalry. But apparently they are not going to, so uh, I'll just let them hang hang out for for now. My limit and I are doing their job well enough. With, uh, they don't really need any help. So here, my peasants are dying quickly, but uh, it's what they're meant to do, more or less. 
Okay, so there, I'm gonna have them run into the next group of cavalry. And uh, I'll have my limit to my attack. After uh, after the peasants, of course. And uh, you might be wondering at this point, why am I going after the Burg Burgundians? Uh, well, I have my army... Well, they have an army right in my territories, and uh, one thing is I don't really want to be attacked by them later on. And another thing is, uh, if I can crush this, this army, well, which I'm doing right now, they will more or less have nothing left to defend their city with afterwards. At which point, that's another free settlement for me. And, uh, yeah. So this has been uh, successful, really. And my peasants have paid the price for my victory. This is a heroic victory, with uh, my opponent being utterly crushed. Uh, kind of exploitive, but uh, you, you take what you can get. So that was one of my longer battles. Uh, well, yeah. At, from this, at this point, the uh, campaign is the campaign. Like I said before, the campaign difficulty is not very hard, and it's more or less all about the battles now. So, uh, I was hoping to get the walk-in by attacking this army, but, uh, it ended up so that the general got away, so I just, uh, I, I think I cut this out. Uh, yeah, I, I do believe I cut this battle out, because it's, it's only me running over pe peasants with my cavalry, not the most interesting in the, in the world. Okay, here I am going to lay siege to Syracuse. Um, more or less, yeah. Okay, so here I'm going to end the turn. I am attacked by the Saxons. Uh, this this battle, I am more or less utter, I am again at a severe disadvantage, but uh, I do manage to win. So this ba this battle was more about uh, me exploiting the terrain and uh, forcing the AI into a bad attack and uh, taking what I can get more or less. So uh, at, the AI has a um. Uh, two general units, uh, a, a shit ton of archers, and a couple of infantry units. Um, my units are not not all that great, so I'm. So what you can see here is uh, I've deployed behind this rock formation, uh, so that the AI, if they wish to attack me, will have to come through that. And during that point, their formation will more or less be uh, destroyed by the uh, geography. So I'm not going to let them circle around. I will just stay behind and hope for the AI to come straight at me. Uh, in a min minute they will. Uh, so I can see they're uh, maneuvering around again. So I, so I'll, I'll I'll circle around a bit more. Okay, here here is uh, after a lot of circling. Here is where I decided that uh, I I will start the engagement. I see a unit of uh, of archers out by themselves and uh, I will just take what I can get uh, but at this point the AI generals were coming for me like usually I, s I see which unit they are going after and uh, I prepare my infantry line to take a massive charge here you can see my uh, I, ha I have uh, hired a unit of mercenary golden band uh, they are very good in in a melee. They can kill very quickly. However, they, they, they you have to be very careful with archers when you're using them. Uh, they only have very low. Uh, they have very high melee defense, but they don't have a lot of armor and they don't have a shield, meaning they are very very vulnerable to archer fire. Uh, I, I've tried this battle once before, and uh, the AI the, the AI archers just absolutely carved that unit up. It went from like 80 men to 20 men in like le less than 10 seconds. It's absolutely insane. Okay, so I, uh, I, I got this around now, and uh, this is more or less a one. Th th this more or less is gonna be a one, uh, one battle for me. I, I just have that one unit of limits when I go off to chase archers. Eh. They won't catch them, but. Okay, so th this is very good. Uh, both the Saxon generals are uh, wavering and uh, about to die. I'll just have my archers come into the melee nonetheless. Uh, from this point on, is th this battle is more or less won. The AI has only archers. I can just chase them with my infantry. And they have a, uh, two units of melee infantry, which is uh, which won't stand up to my general and my, my uh, golden band. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I just cut, cut out the rest. 
And, um, yeah. Very good victory for me. Heroic this time. Victory! Okay. So, here, uh, I am attacked by a bunch of peasants and a general. Uh, I have two generals, so I, uh, shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard, really. Uh, I just, I just cut, cut out the whole battle, and it, just some results. It's, basically, for that battle, all I had to do was charge the enemy peasants by generals, and, uh, that's, that was it, more or less. Okay. That was unexpected. Usually the, I, I won't be able to win any of those. So, here, I only have two units of, uh, Lament and I. I'm not gonna be able to do anything, uh, about that, so I just have to run away. Uh, that's a little unfortunate, because my army in Ireland will more or less be stuck there now. But I have enough units in uh, England uh, proper to make, to uh, win these battles, still. Okay, so... The, my navies are, are getting crushed here and there, but it's fine. More rebellions, as expected, more or less. Uh, However, my uh, the core cities from now on, I will try to keep them happy. Lower taxes, higher peasants, etc., etc. Uh, this one, well, I suppose, is okay. So uh, I think this is turn six now. So this campaign is almost wrapping up. I just need to take a couple of more settle settlements, and okay, once again, I am the most advanced faction, and uh, my income is dra drastically going up. Uh, yeah, a couple of you were wondering about my suppose my accent uh, previously. Well, uh, it's it's supposed to be American, but uh, I don't know what's happening when I'm recording these videos and I talk differently and weirdly. Uh, it's, 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 I, I don't know, just something that just happens when I'm trying, to, when I'm talking to myself in front of a computer. Um, okay, this army is probably not going to see combat for the rest of the, uh, rest of the campaign. A shame, a shame really, because it's, pr it's pretty strong. Uh, uh, look, Syri look at Syracuse for a sec. I, I, actually, never mind, you can't really look at Syracuse. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to s s uh, see if I can attack the Berbers from the uh, from what what, the, what units I have from uh, Spain. But uh, these guys are not going to reach there in time, so I'll just resolve I'll resolve what the what units I have this turn. The Berbers are uh, good Christians, though, so uh, keeping those settlements will be a lot easier than keeping the uh, barbarian settlements in the north after I exterminate them. exterminate them, of course. Uh, so, not much more going on here. Uh, I'm just more or less I'm queuing up uh, enough buildings so that it'll last me into like turns uh, after turn ten. So I I won't have to uh, do a lot of uh, managing management city management from this point onwards. Uh, that should be enough. The AI has since I'm gonna f fight the AI uh, out of the city, uh, uh, mainly cavalry. Uh, army will do, do the trick here. Uh, like I said before, my uh, my fleets are severely depleted, My and my army in Ireland is more or less not going to get to their destination later on. I'm not going to have them board right now because that's, that's a little dangerous. These AI navies really get obnoxious, obnoxious after a while. So uh, I'll lay siege to the Saxon capital. Um, next turn it should be gone, they only have two units. Not very, not, not, not a huge challenge. Uh, here I will march on the Lombard, uh, Burgundy or Lombardy, I forgot which one. Th th this general is starting to worry me, uh, Nero Flavius. He has one uh, star of loyalty. Uh, yeah, that means he might turn his uh, turn turn his back on me like pretty much any time. I've never had that happen to me before, but uh, I really don't relish having it happen now. Uh, yeah, so one thing I noticed about these uh, rebel settlements right now is that uh, I think they produce peasants uh, re relative to how happy they are at the time of rebellion. 
because uh, the, the this city the, these cities are producing huge huge stacks of peasants. You will see that in the, in a sec. Uh, okay, uh, Ireland is about to rebel, so I'm I'm doing what I usually do, destroying all the uh, valuable military buildings, getting me a bit of cash, and should I want to extend this campaign uh, after I after the victory, I will be able to do so. Here is my sneaky, sneaky backdooring attempt, and the Holy Land is more or less in sight. Uh, this army will go after the island of Crete, I think that's what it's called. Uh, just, just one more settlement to add to the Roman core. And here I'm taking back the last, well, one of the last of my original settlements. And with a bit of mercenaries, that will be a one turn uh, battery ram. Uh, I, yeah. Okay, so I th there's a couple more battles in this video actually, and uh, I will show them. Ah uh, yes, this one. This is this is the largest battle I've run into so far. Look at that. Look at all that. <laughs> uh, they're, they're peasants though. Uh, as you can see, that would that, that that did not work out for me if I auto resolved. So I'm going to fight this out. <coughs> Sorry about that. So my strategy for this one is more uh, is more or less uh, I'll have my archers on uh, flaming arrows the whole time. Since the pe uh, the morale of the peasants are crap or to begin with, uh, it should have the maximum effect. And I, I won't uh, start the melee uh, right away. I'm hoping to grind down a couple of units of peasants first, and hopefully the general before I uh, entirely commit my infantry. So my general is going to be a total badass in this battle and get an all insane amount of kills. There's a lot of kills to go around really, so it, it, it really should not come as a surprise. This, uh, I, I'm probably being a little more careful than I really should be because uh, it's more or less due to the general I have. Uh, this guy is uh, one of a kind really. He gives you your troops a minus 10. Uh, penalty to your morale, something something like that. So uh, even though my troops are uh, like urban cohort status, they will still rout very very easily. Uh, I, that's no bueno. So I'm still trying to be very careful. But the peasants are routing even doing a better job of routing than my uh, general's uh, coward units. So I'm just taking what I can get. I'm not I'm not I don't want to run into that huge blob of peasants right now. So uh, I'll just kill what's running at me. Once again, the AI is uh, making a huge mistake in uh, coming at me piecemeal, but this is what the AI does, and I will take what I can get. Uh, the AI uh, units are routing so fast. Uh, it, it, obviously, my fl flaming arrows are having a uh, having some effect, and uh, at this point, they're just kind of stuck in that little passageway. And uh, I think I'm gonna move forward soon. Yeah, I'm gonna move move forward soon. Here comes another suicidal unit, and they will not die because they're running back. Okay, it's just a lot of waiting now. Uh, I'm seeing if the AI will make a move, which they won't. So it's uh, so I'm gonna move up now. I I still haven't used any of my Pila because well I didn't really need to. I'm gonna save them for a time where they when they will be most decisive. If there is such a time, okay. So my archers are still going at it. Uh, very useful. The peasants are running back a bit more, so I'm gonna move up a bit more. So, in, uh, I think it's at this point the AI general uh, elects to attack me. Uh, well, through through that little passageway, the charge bonus will not be very significant. So uh, that that worked out very well for me. So more or less, my archers are doing what they do, and uh, I think yeah. So so I, I I did have my pila on. This is not a good time to use it, but uh, whatever. Well, what's done is done. I've already killed kill off about half of them, so it's not too too difficult of a battle here. Uh, with my general in there, I'm gonna turn off all my missiles. And you can see how fast peasants route, and that's 
and that compared to, com combined with their uh, measly stats is what makes them such shitty units in combat. Okay, uh, there's a lar larger blob of peasants coming, so I'll just get out of there. And there's the AI general. I turn out all my Pila. This is the moment I've been uh, they've been waiting for. I don't know what that was, but uh, that more or less negated their charge bonus. And uh, my, my superior infantry, along with my general, will be able to grind them down. The enemy general flees. Press he didn't um, die off completely, though. That's that's a, that's somewhat of a shame. But uh, with the general running away, the, these peasants will mass rout in sec, and that's when I uh, and I will chase them all the way to the town square and win. So uh, I'm still trying to use my general. Uh, uh, slightly carefully. I, also with my infantry, I'm not letting them uh, getting attacked from the side and the uh, back and whatnot. They are very good though, so it should not be a problem. I'm more or less using the best infantry in the game against the worst infantry in the game. <laughs> but the numbers are definitely on their side. So here's the mass route, and uh, I will be I will start to chase them all the way to the town square, and. Uh, uh, so I cut cut out all the chasing, and here is the fight at the town square. There goes the enemy general, and my uh, infantry are doing a very good job of grinding the enemy down. As is my general, of course. Uh, another interesting thing I thought, I thought, okay, never mind. I'll mention it later. So that was a clear victory for me. With a certain number of kills, my general got almost a thousand gain. <laughs> that I never had that happen to me before. That, that that's that's almost disgusting, really. Okay, so that other interesting thing I was um, about to mention is that this settlement originally had about uh, 500 uh, 500 people, and they spawned this army of over a thousand men. It, okay, so mathematically that does not work out, right? Like, how, how do you get, get go from 500 to 1,000? Uh, you, you don't, really. So, uh, that that's it for this video, in terms of, of the battles. Uh, I auto-resolved a couple more. Here in uh, Tingi, I have I have taken the city. Uh, they're not as happy as I hoped they would be, the peasants, I mean. So, uh, I'm just going to have to uh, deal with that. I'll have my uh, cavalry march off to deal with the um, Moorish resistance inland, and I'll have my infantry stay here and keep the peace. Th that's my plan, of course. I did not think of that at this. Uh, I, th I did not think of that as, at this point. So uh, things are going very well. Uh, I I'm rapidly approaching my uh, my desired number of 34, which uh, settlements. I mean, which will allow me to win the campaign. Uh, this this army is not gonna get their get to their destination in time, but should uh, I think I think uh, on the last video I will uh, post a file with all my saves so that if you want to play out the campaign from whichever point and uh, maybe even after the victory, uh, feel free to. So I'll also try to make the best moves uh, as po the best possible moves at this point, uh, and hopefully not ruin that. So, like always, uh, if you have suggestions for me, leave a comment, please, and I will do what I can. And for those of you who left me uh, positive comments and liked my videos, thank you for that. Uh, that is uh, more or less what's keeping me going uh, to uh, create more videos and whatnot. And uh, it's, it's, that, that's, that's it for now. So, uh, next time.